Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking NBA news. The Damian Lillard trade saga is officially over. He's not going to the Miami Heat. Damian Lillard has been traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, this Damian Lillard trade request has been going on for months. The news broke over the summer that he wanted to end up in Miami as his preferred destination. Obviously, that did not happen. Portland felt they had a better trade offer coming from both the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks. It was a three-team trade. I'll read it to you real quick. Full trade per sources. Bucks, Damian Lillard, Blazers are getting Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Tumani Kamara, a 2029 first-round Bucks pick, and a pick swap in 2028 and 2030. Suns are getting Yusuf Nurkic, Nasir Little, Keon Johnson, and Grayson Allen. I will try to put that up on the screen and remember, but again, man, I'm shocked. I mean, at the end of the day, the NBA is a stars-driven league. It is typically a league where stars get what they want. And Damian Lillard, apparently anyway, did not get that. So he goes to a really good team in the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm sure he'll be fine there. But my God, man, this Bucks team is so good and so terrifying. I already put the trade through in 2K, so we'll talk about it once we do get into there. But yeah, man, my I'm just shocked right now. Like... I knew some Damian Lillard trade was coming at some point in time. I did not think it would be at like 2 o'clock on a random Wednesday, but my, oh, just completely flabbergasted right now. That's the only really word I have to describe it. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Damian Lillard to Milwaukee trade. I am just completely shocked. But this is a scary new duo, trio I don't even know what to call this team. It's insane. Let's get into this one. So funny enough, I actually had a Bucks rebuild going up today anyways, and obviously I deleted it, and we're re-recording right now, and obviously that is great, and I'm very happy that it did not happen tomorrow. So let's just get into it. Damian Lillard, obviously now here in Milwaukee, going to be Giannis's new number two. I do somewhat feel bad for Drew Holiday. Like I feel like he literally just said he wanted to finish out his career in Milwaukee, and the man gets traded to Portland. Now I know the Blazers are kind of looking around, exploring other options for him they're obviously going through a rebuild makes no sense to have a 33 34 year old point guard there whatever he is but yeah man Damian Lillard is here this Bucks team is terrifying I mean I'm I'm just scared thinking about it as a Celtics fan but it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch as a basketball fan so Damian Lillard is here shooting guard spot in all likelihood I think Malik Beasley will be the backup I'm assuming uh, Pat Connaughton is gonna be starting at the two that's how I'll probably do it for year one we'll go from there AJ Green Andre Jackson Jr. maybe could be deaf pieces at some point if they do end up progressing but obviously the Bucks were able to keep Chris Middleton re-signed him this past offseason obviously that's a huge get he's gonna be the third option on this team and uh it's, it's insane. I mean, it's just terrifying. Marjan Bochamp will be backing up Middleton. Power forward spot, obviously. Giannis, we have Jay Crowder here. And we have the cheerleader in Thanasis Attendakumbo. Center spot is going to be led by a depoy candidate last year in Brooke Lopez. Bobby Portis Jr. going to be a sixth man off the bench. Always in the sixth man of the year conversation. And Robin Lopez here as well. So two brothers, excuse me, two pairs of brothers on the team here in Milwaukee. But yeah, man, I mean, I just, I can't get over it. I mean, in, in terms of what... Milwaukee gave up I mean I would maybe be a little bit nervous about those pick swaps in 28 and 30 and maybe even that first in 2029 because obviously that's still some time away and you know looking over the history of these trades that we've seen these major moves anyways that include a lot of draft picks those future picks typically end up you know somewhat being good draft picks so again if they win another championship who gives a shit at the end of the day and I truly do think this roster is capable of winning one so I am, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it kind of all unfold, man. We're about a month away from NBA basketball. This is going to be very fun. But in terms of this team right now, I do want to upgrade our backup point guard spot because no disrespect meant, but Ty Ty Washington Jr., Lindell Wigington, these are not backup point guards on a championship caliber roster. So one or two trades coming. We're going to be making a trade here with the New York Knicks, sending them Andre Jackson Jr., Robin Lopez, two future second round picks. We're going to be picking up Miles McBride. He's 23 years old out of 74 overall. He's going to be the new backup to Damian Lillard. So obviously acquiring a small upgrade there. It is nothing major, but it is definitely going to help this roster for what we hope can be a championship season. So I'm excited to have this roster kind of all put together. Funny enough, Pat Connaughton's overall goes down too if you move into the shooting guard spot that's just classic 2k but again he's going to be the starter Beasley will be off the bench and then other than that really shouldn't be any surprises for this team so let's go ahead and set the rotation for year one we're ready to go here for year one in Milwaukee obviously a championship hopeful roster this is a very very exciting time to be a Bucks fan so Damian Lillard Pat Connaughton Chris Middleton Giannis Tancumbo and Brooke Lopez again I don't know if Connaughton will 100% start at that shooting guard spot I think it's likely Maybe there's some other variants or of this rotation they could really set. But for now, here's how it's going to work. Ben Shooting is going to be led by Bobby Portis Jr., Jay Crowder, Malik Beasley, Miles McBride, newly acquired, and Marjan Bochamp. So I am excited to see how this team kind of works out. By no means is this the greatest bench in this world, but this starting five 
is absolutely terrifying. I'm excited to see how this goes. So I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. Giannis and Dame's first season together as teammates is officially over. They wrap it up with a record of 60 and 22. I'm assuming that is good enough for a one spot here in the East. Nicole Jokic averages a triple double, wins another MVP. This dude's ridiculous. Victor Wembanyama, Chris Paul, Nick Claxton, Paul Reed, SGA. I'm going through these relatively quick because they're relatively always the same awards year one. Uh, Adrian Griffin, new coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, is going to be your coach of the year. I actually already did a Bucks rebuild, as I mentioned, and he has some pretty bad ratings. It's a, it's a little disappointing to see, but it is what it is. Uh, we are the one seed here in the Eastern Conference with 60 wins. That's awesome. It's also the best record in all of basketball. Feel free to pause if you wish to look at the standings. Let's take a look at the numbers on the year, see who averaged what. In terms of points per game, Damian Lillard's around 28 and a half. Giannis, Chris Middleton, Bobby Portis off the bench, Brooke Lopez, Beasley, Connaughton. Not bad. I can live with it. Rebounds. And to be honest, an assist was Damian Lillard. So... Round one, who's it going to be? Us in the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Sadiq Bey, Yusuf Nurkic. Okay, well, it looks like, <laughs> looks like the Suns had enough of Yusuf Nurkic very quickly, and they swapped him, I'm assuming, for Clint Capella. Interesting decision there. All right, we're up 1-0 right now against the Hawks. Make that 2-0. I think this team is very much beatable. We're up 3-1, and we close them out in 5 Beautiful. All right, moving on to the Cleveland Cavaliers here in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Garland, Mitchell, obviously an incredibly talented backcourt. Isaac Coral here at the three, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. You got Struess off the bench, Karis LeVert, Ricky Rubio. It's a pretty good team there in Cleveland. I think we're better, no doubt. We're up 2-0 right now, 2-1. I'd like to just win this pretty easily. We win in five. All right, Eastern Conference finals. Look at the Philadelphia 76ers getting out of the second round. Good for you. We're also still waiting on a James Harden trade in real life. Him and Maxie still in this backcourt. Tobias Harris, Paul Reed, Joel Embiid, newly signed Kelly Oubre. You got the Anthony Melton there. All right, big moment here. Can we get to the finals in year one? We are currently up 2-1. Make that 3-1. Battling back a little bit, and we're in the finals here in year one, and we're going to be taking on another really good team with Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. So, obviously, a matchup here of two extremely talented squads. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Josh Okoge, Kevin Durant, Clint Capella. You got Bull Bull, Drew Eubanks, Eric Gordon. It's an interesting bench right there. So, all right, let's see what happens here. I think we're running back to the 2021 finals, but I think we're the better team. I do. That might be a bold statement. I think we're better. We're up 3-1 right now. We're going back to Milwaukee here for Game 5, a potential closeout game. I'd like to get a little gameplay. If we could not get our backs blown out in a closeout, that would be awesome. Okay, fight back, fight back. Oh, my God, we're going back and forth. All right, as I'm sure many of you know, I suck at this game, but we'll get a little bit of gameplay, see if we can clutch up for the win. It is a closeout game here in Milwaukee. We are obviously trying to get it done right now. It is our ball. There is 2 minutes and 41 seconds left. Let's just hopefully go for the win right here. Miles McBride. Oh my God, he hit it. <laughs> that was a terrible release. I don't know how it went in. But yeah, why would Giannis and Dame not be in right now? Right? That that makes no sense. Unless unless Dame like fouled out, which would really suck. Devin Booker just absolutely given the work right there to Miles McBride. But yeah, is that... Okay, so that's Malik Beasley, I think. And I see Giannis, obviously. But there's no, no reasonable situation. Middleton to the rack. Why Giannis would not be in the game right now. So, obviously, we're fighting back without him in. And it looks like, anyways, that Damian Lillard has uh, has fouled out. Because, okay, Milwaukee. Uh, Phoenix takes a timeout. Uh, let me just double check on that. Because that would be pretty disappointing. Yep, Damian Lillard has fouled out. I fucking hate you, 2K. I mean, come on. Oh, that's shitty. Um, okay, which means we are going to have to figure something else out. I mean, would I rather have Connaughton in there over McBride? Probably not. Would I rather have Connaughton over there over Malik Beasley? No, I'm going to go with this. Damn, I want to play with team. God damn it. All right, but we get Giannis back in the game, which is obviously huge. Just disappointing. All right, Brooke Lopez, we're going to try to deny ball with him. We're still down one. Let's not let Bradley Beal get the ball. That's Josh Okogie in the corner. Kevin Durant on Giannis. What a fun matchup this should be to watch. Obviously, KD wasn't with the Suns in 2021, and he throws the ball away, and we're going to be getting it back with a minute 53. Oh, baby. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now. Obviously, we got a lot of work to do. Giannis got 24, 14, and 8 on the night. Can we just blow by Kevin Durant? Giannis up and in. Let's fucking go, baby. We are up one with 146 left. 
here at the Pfizer Forum looking for a second championship in three years. Is this a possibility that we can do this here and close out a very, very good Phoenix Suns team? We're playing relatively good defense. Lopez stuffs Bradley Beal at the rim. They're going to retain possession. But man, oh man, we're getting close. What a block there by Brooke Lopez. I felt like we were actually playing good on-ball defense against Miles McBride anyways, but very excited to see what ends up happening here. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Let's try to not let KD get the ball. I'd rather him not get it. They're going to kick it out to Beal. Working low post with Devin Booker, and he absolutely just cooks me. Yeah, I think you all knew this, and I obviously mentioned it, but I'm not very good at this game. And uh, yeah, the fact that I'm even in this right now is kind of mind-boggling. So let me call for a pick here from Brooke Lopez and just right down to the rim, back to Lopez. Going to put it up, and he gets it to go. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Brooke Lopez clutching up for us. He's got the big block and the big layup right there. Malik Beasley going to try to play one-on-one -on -one with Devin Booker. I do not think many players are capable of playing one-on-one -on -one with Devin Booker, but I will do my best. That's a three from Makogi, and it does not go. No rebound for us. Capella gets it. He blows the layup, gets another one. KD. No, my God. Oh, my God. Let's slow the pace a little bit. Oh, my God. Malik Beasley for a three. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually meant to pass it to Miles McBride there, and then I somehow threw it to Beasley. He was wide open, and I do not know how I hit that. I mean, I'm just terrible with releases in this game, but oh my god, man. Let's keep the starters in the game right now. We are feeling good. We got a four-point lead, so it's a two-possession game with 52 and a half seconds left. We just got to not play absolutely idiotic, and we have a championship in year one, which would be awesome. All right, Booker out in the corner. You got Malik Beasley one-on-one. -on -one. They kick it at Capella. Back out to Bradley Beal, running the point. I'm going to be interested to see how that works out this season. Oh, my God. They're taking their sweet old time. They get an easy pick and roll with Capella. I fell asleep. They do not have to play the foul game because there's obviously more than 24 seconds left. Let's just give it to Giannis. Let's make Kevin Durant play some defense here. Let's just actually blow by everybody. Giannis, Giannis, Giannis. Giannis with 31 seconds left gets a clutch little easy layup to go. And now they got to push the pace a little bit. They're going to take a timeout. Uh, I'm going to see what a defensive lineup looks like. Again, I can't imagine it's much different than what we have in right now, if any difference at all. But just curious. Um, no, it's exactly the same. So that's fine by me. All right. Still a two-possession game. 28 and a half seconds left to go. I do not want Kevin Durant to get the ball. I'll try to face guard him. They're going to try to run some screens here. And they get it to KD. That sucks. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Giannis. He pulls up the jump shot, and he misses. They're going to play the foul game with us now. They actually fouled the right guy. Tried to go over to Middleton. Did not work. We basically got to hit you know two free throws here, and we can kind of call this one. Uh, oh, wait. We're not in the bonus. Okay. where? Why is Middleton inbounding? That's dumb. I would not want to shoot free throws with Giannis, but why would Middleton be the inbounder there? Giannis would be the inbounder there. That's just, that's not very smart. Um, all right, though. So we're going to the free throw line with Miles McBride. First free throws up, and it is not good. I probably shouldn't have done it with Miles McBride. I probably should have grabbed like Malik Beasley or even Brooke Lopez, but is what it is. Second one up, second one is good. So we're not dead yet. Or excuse me, we're not done yet. And I'm saying the Suns are not dead yet. There's still a chance. They're going to obviously have to go very quickly here. Bradley Beal is going to do something. I don't even know what he's trying to do right here. Gets a layup to go in. Okay. Uh, no, why is Chris Middleton inbounding? That's dumb. Give it to Malik Beasley here. All right, they're going to foul Malik Beasley. I, I want to shoot free throws with Middleton. I, I don't know why our small forward is inbounding the basketball. Doesn't really feel very smart, but uh, let's go to the free throw line with Beasley, see if we can hit two and put this one away. First one up. Was that really a bad release? Didn't feel like a bad release to me. All right, we got to hit this one at least. Thank you. Holy shit. I mean, was that really a bad first release? Didn't really feel like it, but all right, man. Clock's running down. Under 10 seconds left to go. Eric Gordon in here. Uh, we're going to put a three to whoever the hell that is. They're going to miss that. Capella does get the board. Going to kick it back out to KD. He's pulling from outer space, and that is a championship in year one, boys. We win it all in year one. Wow, I am excited right now. Giannis gets his second career finals MVP. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get gameplay with Damian Lillard. Obviously, that would have been awesome. And maybe we can try again at the end of this video. We will see. LeBron James calls it a career after 21 years in the NBA. 
Oh man, that day's gonna that day's gonna hurt. Hall of Fame inductees LeBron James. <laughs> surprise, surprise. LeBron gets his jersey retired by three franchises. Blake Griffin calls it a career as well. So draft lottery, we are obviously not gonna have any picks here. And uh yeah, I mean at this point, obviously kind of the the pressure is alleviated a little bit. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with Adrian Griffin's ratings. They're just kind of tough. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna fire my head coach after winning a championship, but it's kind of tough. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, man, we're just going to kind of keep going and hopefully win multiple championships in this video. That would be obviously awesome. So yeah, this is our only draft pick we have right now. I actually, funny enough, don't have access yet to the 2029 or 2030 draft pick that obviously are now with Portland. When I do get them or if I do get them, I'll either just send them to Portland or I just won't touch them come trade-wise. Obviously, I'm not going to use assets the Bucks actually don't really have. So, uh, yeah, we won't be drafting anybody this year. I'm sure it'll be a little while. And uh, Bochamp's going to be coming back. He's an important bench piece for us qualifying. I will qualify Miles McBride. Had a pretty clutch three there in the NBA Finals. Ty Ty Washington Jr., no disrespect. We just probably really don't need you around here. And then let's take a look here at free agency. Our other free agents are really just Miles McBride. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to look at this roster one more time. Uh, definitely got to do something about replacing Malik Beasley potentially and overall wise is maybe upgrading that small or excuse me, that shooting guard spot. I don't want to trade Bobby Portis, but it might be a possibility. You know, he's a tremendous six man for us. Don't get me wrong, but I really, really would like to upgrade that shooting guard spot. So hang with me. We might have something coming. We're making a trade here with the Miami Heat. <laughs> we're going to be picking up Tyler Hero. I'm hoping none of you already are. You all already know this, but this is not a realistic rebuild. I just want to put that out there now, just in case you didn't know. Uh, this is our 2026 first. I don't know what the swap protections are on this in real life or anything like that, but we're just going to include it in the trade. I didn't see anything about it in the trade report from Woj or Sham, so we're including it. Uh, it does suck to give up Pat Connaughton as well. He's a pretty important depth piece for me, but obviously getting Tyler Hero and we're just going to sign a new shooting guard. So that is definitely an upgrade. We also have to make a decision here with Brooke Lopez. He's 36 years old. He's definitely going to go down in overalls. Like, just genuinely curious. Like, if I floated out Brooke Lopez, what are my trade offers? None of these are really getting me too excited. I mean... I, I want a center that's good. Like, obviously, Lopez is good. I just know there's going to be some pretty crazy regression. Like, even Clint Capella might not be a bad idea to look at. Like, I might get shit on here from Bucks fans, and you might have every right to do that. But, like, would this really be that bad? I mean, we get six years younger. It's a similar contract. Two overall difference. But I, I genuinely do believe Brooke Lopez will probably be around an 81 overall to start next season. So I'm going to make this trade. It could be controversial. Obviously, both these guys are relatively good defensive centers, pretty good rebounders. Brooke Lopez can obviously stretch the floor where Clint Capella can't really do that. And he might be a tough fit next to Giannis in real life, but I don't think it would really matter here in 2K. So again, might be a controversial trade, but I know that Lopez overall is going to go down. I, I really do. So welcome to the team, Clint. At this point in time, we don't really have a bench, which is, oh, definitely do not do that, which is definitely something we're going to have to address. I wouldn't mind bringing Miami bringing in like Alec Burks here in free agency. He is 32. Actually, I saw Isaiah Joe here. He's 25. Let's 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 do a little. Let's yeah, let's bring in let's bring in Isaiah Joe. Uh, Jay Crowder is probably gone. I think at this point, I do want to bring back Miles McBride, but everybody else, we're we're gonna replace some guys off the bench. So obviously, good to get Isaiah Joe here. We can hopefully go ahead and sign some other backups at this point in time. Uh, we still do obviously go ahead and have um. Marjan Bochamp, we need to find ourselves a new backup power forward and a new backup center. So let's look at some options here. Uh, Reggie Bullock is here in terms of centers like Drew Eubanks. Honestly, screw it. Let's, let's go ahead and sign Drew Eubanks, and uh, we're going to wait on Miles McBride, hopefully get him back as well. And, uh, yeah, let's re-sign Miles McBride to a two-year deal. All right, cool. Um, honestly, I might just go nine-man rotation. I really might. Now, obviously, the bench has gotten worse since last year, but fuck it. I'm going to go in nine-man rotation. I'll, I, I don't care. It's an unrealistic rebuild. I'll see you guys at the start of year two. Fresh off a of championship, we have retooled this roster a little bit. We obviously improved the starting five with the new addition of Tyler Hero. Also went ahead and traded away Brooke Lopez. We added Clint Capella, who is an 82 overall, but he is six years younger than Brooke Lopez. I also do, I'm just curious. I want to check his overall. I mean, if for some reason he's still an 84, I'll just, I'll blame myself and that's a fuck up on my part. But I mean, according to every single logical rule that I've seen in this game, he's an 82. All right. He would have been the same overall as Clint. It is what it is. That's Maybe that's a fuck up on my bad. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But starting five, Damian Lillard, Tyler Hero, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Clint Capella. Bench units, okay. We obviously hurt a lot losing Bobby Portis is what it is. Isaiah Joe, Drew Eubanks, Marjan Bochamp, and Miles McBride. We also have like Aaron Holiday, Sam Hauser, oh, Celtics legend, an absolute sniper from beyond the arc. But... Good to have. It's uh, it's pretty good depth. I'll see you guys at the end of year two. What a way to end year two. Giannis wins another MVP, and we go 69 and 13. 
Nice. But yeah, incredible season from Giannis. Obviously, we're in nine-man rotation. He didn't technically have a backup. It is what it is. Justin Edwards, your rookie of the year. Chris Paul, once again, sixth man of the year. Victor Wembanyama is your deep boy. Jonathan Kaminga, most improved. Luka Doncic, your clutch player of the year. And Adrian Griffin, second straight year of coach of the year. So we were nine games better than last season. Obviously, that is great. But it is uh, it is time for a very another or another very successful playoff run. Hopefully, I'm feeling good. I really am. Let's take a look at the numbers once again in terms of points per game. It was Giannis, Damian Lillard, Tyler Hero was an incredible addition for us. Chris Middleton, Isaiah Joe, Capella, Bochamp, Eubanks, McBride, you got Sam Hauser getting a few minutes down there. Uh, Capella, Lettison, boards, and then assist was Giannis. So. Who's it going to be for us? It is going to be the eight-seeded Pistons. Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, obviously very young. Dynamic backcourt, Mackenzie Mbako here at the small forward, Isaiah Stewart. Nick Claxton's a great addition. So is Marcus Smart. That's a lot of good defense right there. All right, let's see what happens here in the first round. They actually steal game one. We bounce back in game two and three. Make it 2-2 here in the first round. We go up 3-2, and we are here in the Eastern Conference semifinals for the second straight season. Now, I will say this. The Celtics and Bucks have had a lot of fun series and a lot of a lot of whatever over the years. I'm scared as a Celtics fan. I really am. And I'm not talking about this team right here. I'm talking about, obviously, the Bucks team in real life. But the Celtics are still good. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Let's go over this roster. Malcolm Brogdon, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Kristaps Porzingis, Robert Williams. You got Derek White, Al Horford, Delano Banton, Lonnie Walker coming off the bench. They're a pretty good team. I'm thinking we're better. I am. I am. Call me bold. We're up 3-0. We sweep. Moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. We actually faced the Cavs in the second round last year. You can see, obviously, this young core has had some progression. There is Garland up to a 91. Still got Mitchell, Okoro up to an 80. Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen. So it's a very talented starting five. I'm liking our chances, though. I'm still thinking we're the better team here. We are currently up 3-1 against them. Make that 3-2. Make that 3-3. Okay. That's not exactly ideal. Wow. That, uh, that sucks. Well, it's been a few years since we had a Cavs and a Warriors finals. Good to get those two back. Uh, yeah, man, that's it's not great. All right, we're going to work on the bench this offseason. Obviously, player retirements. You can see some guys right there. Staff retirements, cool. Hall of Fame, Chris Paul. Jersey, Chris Paul. Uh, draft lottery. Again, we're not going to have any picks here. I just want to make sure that, oh, my God, holy San Antonio. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, oh, Hawks have the number one overall pick. All right. Uh, staff sign. Do I want to keep Adrian Griffin? I mean, he's won back to back coaches of the year. We obviously won a championship year one. He did just coach us to a 3 1 like choke, though. And again, I'm not saying it's his fault. Like, 2K kind of does him dirty with these ratings. And again, I, I don't think in like real life in a situation like this, he'd probably be fired. I mean, it's, it's a tough spot to be in, but I might fire him now because I know there's guys out there with better ratings. And that's the only reason. Like, I think he's a fine head coach, and again, I probably wouldn't fire him in real life, but these ratings are just dog shit. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I think Stalford would be great, obviously, as literally perfect ratings, so we're good there. I didn't want to fire Adrian Griffin. I don't think he deserved to be fired, but 2K definitely deserves to, you know, hear it for those ratings they gave him. All right, I'm going to send the 2029 first-round pick over to Portland. Obviously, this team would not actually have it in real life, and I'm going to make sure I don't accidentally include it in any trades. So let me do that real quick. We're not going to be drafting anybody. We're heading up to team player options. Two very important free agents here with Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton. And we're going to bring back Marjan Bochamp on his team option. And uh, yeah, I mean, at this point in time, I just got to do everything I can to make sure I retain Giannis. And uh, oh, Clint Capella is a free agent as well. So yeah, there's definitely uh, some uh, nervousness on my end right now. I want to make sure we get Giannis back. I'm obviously going to pay Chris Middleton, and then I do want to get Capella back as well. Um, I'm hoping our options aren't limited for our bench. Isaiah Joe is going to be gone in all likelihood. He was actually released. That's why we were able to get him on such cheap contract. I'm, I'm hoping that we can still improve this bench a little bit. Obviously, we don't really have a lot of assets to do that, but uh, I am a little nervous. I am. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So let's maybe look for a replacement at the backup point guard spot, potentially the shooting guard spot. Ooh, give me Luke Kennard. I actually love Luke Kennard shooting next to Giannis, especially because we have Capella in the starting five now. Would not mind that star. Or excuse me, would not mind that shooting from Capella. Capel Jesus, I'm all over the place. From Kennard whatsoever. Other than that, I mean, maybe there's an argument to explore a Chris Middleton trade. I'm not thinking anything major. I mean, I'll glance, but I don't really suspect anything's going to be coming too much. Um, ooh. I don't really think there's another player here that's really going to benefit this team too much. I, I, I really don't. I mean, Devontae Graham. Yeah, I don't know. Hang with me. Went ahead and signed Landry Shamit just to flip him. Again, it's a little cheesy, but who gives a shit? Him and Miles McBride, a future second going to Chicago. We're picking up Io. He's going to be our new backup point card. He's a slight upgrade over Miles McBride, in my opinion. So, welcome to the team. He's going to bolster that bench unit. And then, again, we did just pick up a first-round pick. Maybe there's something out there that we could get. Like, maybe, is there an upgrade for, like, Drew Eubanks? 
I mean, obviously, it's good to have another first-round pick, and we can't take it with us, so I'll explore all offers. If not, I can always check at the start of next year. Could go Andre Drummond. He's a little old at this point in time in 31. Might be some regression, but honestly, I might take him. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take Andre Drummond. Maybe this is a bad move. I don't think it is. I'll see you guys at the start of the final year. Final season four is here in Milwaukee. We are seeing some slight regression on Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton. It's a little bit disappointing. Obviously, I was never going to trade. I mean, maybe I could trade Middleton, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm still happy with this team. I'm very content. Damian Lillard, Tyler Hero, still our backcourt. Middleton here at the three. Giannis at the four and Clint Capella at the five. Bench unit is going to be led by Io. He's going to be our new six man, followed by Marjan Beauchamp. New, new, I cannot fucking speak. Newly acquired Andre Drummond and new Newly acquired Luke Kennard. So I like this team. I think the bench is a little bit better than last year. And uh, yeah, man, all we got to do is just not choke a through and lead. We would have probably had back to back, but it is what it is. New year, new us. I'll see you guys at the end of the final season. It is back to back MVPs for Giannis as we have our best season yet. We go 70 and 12. Obviously that is awesome, but so was 69 wins last year. And we choked a 3-1 lead. We just cannot do that again come playoff time, but obviously Giannis getting another MVP is incredible. Liam McNeil, who? I don't know. Miles Bridges. Oh, my God. Evan Mobley is your deep boy. Gardiel is your most improved player. Zion is your clutch player of the year. You got to be on the court to be clutch. And Mike Stauffer is your coach of the year. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the standings. I'm assuming 70 wins is the best record in the league. It is by far in terms of the stats. I'm sure everybody played very, very well. Giannis and Dame still doing their thing. Tyler Hero is a great, I don't even, I guess he's the third option. Now you have Middleton as a fourth option. Bochamp, Capella, Drummond, Io, Kennard. Yeah, Reggie Bullock down there. Rebounds with Capella and assists Giannis. Wow, okay, cool. All right, round one. Who's it going to be? It's the eight-seeded Wizards. Thanks for coming. I mean, I, I don't mean any disrespect, but, like, what are we doing? All right, Atlanta here in round two. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Ace Bailey, Sadiq Bey, Kongu. We got Hunter off the bench, A.J. Griffin, Caleb Martin. Got some really good depth there in Atlanta. Can we get by the Atlanta Hawks here in the Eastern Conference semifinals? We're up 3-1 right now, and we win in five. Eastern Conference finals time. You have the Toronto Raptors, Lonzo Ball, Grady Dick, Scotty Barnes, Siaka, Miyaka Pirtle, OG, Cole Anthony. Not bad. I mean, again, okay, really? I just... I. I don't know. It's I, I don't think this team really has much chance of competing with us. I guess 2K disagrees because we go to six, but it is what it is. We're taking on SGA and the Oklahoma City Thunder here in the NBA Finals. It's Tim, Case, and Wallace in the backcourt. They've lost. Wait. Am I, am I missing something here? They lost Josh Giddy, but okay. I don't know how you let him go, but it is what it is. All right, we are up 1-0. We're up 2-0. We're up 3-0, and I actually am going to do something probably that I've never done is get two versions of gameplay in one video, and the only reason I'm doing this is because Damian Lillard literally wasn't in the first gameplay. So, yeah, uh, it's a one-point game. I'll see you guys in there. I want to play with Dame. Just sue me. I know this video has probably already been long as hell, and I promise you I will do everything I can to make it go as quickly as possible. But you see Damian Lillard in here on the court. I'm very happy he's in. <laughs> it would have sucked if he wasn't. But we got ourselves a ball game here. I mean, this this is this is definitely not over by any means. I mean, we're, we're, we're down one, and there's about two and a half minutes left to go. Now I got to try to play on-ball defense with SGA with Tyler fucking Hero. I mean, are you just, are you kidding me? That can't happen. Let's. Why is Dame not... I'm not saying Damian Lillard's some perennial defender, but I'd rather have him than Tyler Hero. Oh my God, Dame just blow right by him. Gets fouled. Oh, I wanted the end one. All right, so three-point game. We got Dame going to the foul line. Obviously good to get some free throws up with him. I'd like Giannis to be put in the game. That would be... Okay, I'm just bricking free throws with everybody. All these releases are just fucking me up. I mean, it's insane. Second free throw, Dame is up, and please be good. Thank you. All right, two-point game, 218 left to go. Finally, we have Damian Lillard here on SGA. I mean, again, it's not like a great matchup for us, but it's better than Tyler Hero. So I will do my best, as I'm sure I've already said 18 times and you already watched. I'm not very good at this game. So it's uh, why is Giannis not rolling? That's stupid. I clearly moved through the screen. Why, why would Giannis not roll? All right, we just got to take over. Can I have a little bit of a pick and roll going with Giannis? Nope, it's going to come from Capella here. Actually, just kick it out. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. Damian Lillard. Layup. I'm smoking layups now. This is not a good ending to this. This is this is not. We had better gameplay in the first game, and we didn't even have Dame. Okay, what the hell is that? Is Giannis asleep? I mean, what? <laughs> what's going on here? Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna run. We're gonna run a floppy. I actually wouldn't mind trying to run the floppy with Dame, but it's probably gonna be Hero. That's just not good defense right there. And uh, gets the three. Okay, cool. We're back in it. It's back to a one possession game. Big shot there from Tyler Hero. I'm excited about it. I'm gonna be a scumbag right now. I'm not gonna play on ball defense. It's cheesy as hell, and I know it's 
to soft move. SGA just working his way to the rim. Giannis gets the ball. Let's just streak down the court. Kick it out. Oh my god, he's wide open. Okay, thank you very much, Dame. I was going to kick it out to Middleton for probably an open three, but we take the guaranteed points, and there's still time on the clock. Ticking down to 110 left. I'm playing off ball again. I'm sorry, it's scummy, but I want to sweep the Thunder. I don't want to give them any chance to come back from being down 3-0, and we're falling asleep right now. SGA misses that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's slow it down here. Let's slow it down. I need a screen. I'd rather have it come from Giannis, but it is what it is. Good pick, Clint Capella. Why are you not rolling? It's a pick and roll, Clint. Work Lou Dort in the low post. Giannis gets the easy layup to go. We go up with 44 seconds left. OKC only has one timeout, so they got to be picky. We're going to be a scumbag again. We're playing off-ball defense. Hopefully Dame doesn't get cooked by SGA. He's working him. He gets the shot up, and it's no good. It is no good. Give Damian Lillard the basketball. Holy shit. We're going to waste as much clock as we possibly can, and they're playing the foul game. Wow, Lou Dort trying to save that time. I mean, I guess it's still a one possession game even if we hit both, but I don't is that the right move? Because you can get a lead if we don't score there and, you, and then you go on and score. Interesting decision. All right, two big free throws coming up here with Damian Lillard. First one is up. It is good, thank God. Okay, I think I've got this release down. Damian Lillard looking for his second championship of this video and he makes them both. They're obviously going to take a timeout there. In terms of a defensive lineup, I'm assuming it probably removes Tyler Hero from the game. I doubt there's any other changes. I just got to see, like, what is, like, what does it look like? What does it say? Um, it puts Gary Harris in. It puts Io in. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. We're, we're going to keep the starters in the game. It is what it is. I'll live with it. I mean, I'm assuming SGA is probably getting the ball anyway. So I'm going to try to deny him the basketball here. Anybody else, if you want to beat me, you can. But, uh, okay, I'm falling asleep. I'm falling asleep. Lou Dort going up and he misses it. Don't get... Oh, they fouled Capella. I was trying to get it to anybody but Clint Capella. That's not who I want to shoot free throws with. No disrespect. First free throw up. Oh my God. It went in. Holy shit. I cannot believe that went in, which makes it a two possession game, which basically wraps it up. Clint Capella. Oh my God. He's got that clutch gene. They have no timeout, which means all we got to do right now is just not be an idiot. And we've basically won our second championship of this video. Chad Holmgren just put his fucking nuts on me. All right, I want to shoot free throws here with Dame, I think. Let's just give Damian Lillard the ball. They're obviously going to foul immediately. We just got to do this over and over again. Just got to hit one free throw here with Damian Lillard. We're basically good. First one up. Oh, my God, I bricked it. I bricked it. All right. Lock it the fuck in. I'm talking to myself. Second free throw is up. Second one is good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Two possession game. They're just going to put up a three with Lou Dort. That's no good. This one's over. I'll see you guys with the finals MVP. We win our second championship of this video. Obviously feeling great. Giannis gets, what, what would that be? His third finals MVP. Jesus, the man would now at this point have four MVPs and three finals MVPs. Good God. All right, man. That is it. We obviously had a lot of fun with this one. I know this video has been long enough, so I'll keep it short. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm just still shocked about Damian Lillard. I mean, really not much else to say. Just absolutely insane. Very excited. As a basketball fan to watch him in Milwaukee. As a Celtics fan, I'm not excited at all. I'm actually pretty scared. But, yeah, man, nonetheless, let me know all your thoughts on this trade down below in the comment section. This is a crazy one. Obviously, we're going to be doing the other sides of this deal as well. There is a new Portland rebuild to do. I don't know how long I'm going to wait to do that because, obviously, we're waiting on a Drew Holiday trade again, obviously. He's not going to play in Portland. I don't think so, anyways. Uh, and then I'll do a Phoenix Suns one as well. So, waiting on all that, let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts, video ideas, whatever it may be. As always, thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.